Hello YouTubers, I'm Optimus Frank and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'll be doing a quick review for uh, of War for Cybertron Trilogy Siege Decepticon Skytread. Skytread is a reincarnation of the G1 Duocon flywheels, but this one was not the first Skytread. Uh, before this version, Skytread appeared in Titans Return as a Headmaster, as I have right here below. Um, I'll put him away for now and bring him back later in the view because I do want to talk more about him. Um, but I'll begin by saying that there is so much I like about Skytread. Um, he's well proportioned. He's a well proportioned deluxe. Uh, he's uh, dark coffee brown with a maroon red going on here. Um, there's a shiny. Uh, there, there is a shiny uh, blue at the center of his chest. Uh, his uh, head sculpt is one of the best in the line in my book. Um, th th these Decepticon red shades look so chill. Let me get a closer look at that right here. Look at that. Yeah, the ladies' man right there. But. He does have some gray on his feet and his hands, uh, which blend in nicely. Um, and he has detailed etching all over. Uh, his robot mode is so well formed uh, that it's amazing. And he turns into a jet fighter in a tank. Um, and uh, he's fully articulate. Uh, his head is on a ball joint here. Um, he rotates at the shoulder on the swivel joints. And I love how his shoulder rotates. He can extend his arm fully, um, uh, kind of like he's reaching for something there or... Um, but yeah, I love that that shoulder rotation. It's kind of like on a the, the kind of like a double swivel there, swivel here, swivel there, and it enables them to do this, which uh, other robots with uh, or Autobots or Transformers with kibble there really can't, like I showed with uh, with Cog in the last uh, video. But yeah, he he can he can definitely do this, and and you know his shoulders are so flexible. Um, and he bends at the elbows and knees at ninety degrees, and here knee right there yeah. um, his waist does not rotate at a 360 because his jet parts are in the way so this is as far as he gets um, he has a uh, tank treads for legs and feet uh, and his feet are kind of big um, uh, his battle damage is actually on the tank treads for the most part which is fine you know um, I mean I don't see any really any battle damage on this jet half but um, yeah that that's where his uh, siege battle damage is and it looks great you know you see some silver there and the paint job and on both sides. So do they match on both sides? Not really, which which adds um, adds what he says. Does this match that? Not really. So th that's great. You know, that's great. I, I like they went through that detail. And um, so, and what else about him? Yeah, um, I also like that his uh, gauntlets, if you look close at his gauntlets, it looks like he has, there's his gauntlet. So he has some little mini guns there on his gauntlets, and it looks like it also doubles as like some armored knuckles or brass knuckles or um, you know something to punch really hard with. You know, here are his weapons. Um, one looks like an assault rifle, and another looks like uh, excuse me. Let me put him to the side. Let's just look at his weapon here. One looks like an assault rifle here, and the other looks like an SMG. So when you put them together, uh, they form this big sniper rifle. And you know, Call of Duty, you should take note. I mean, if there were a gun like this on Call of Duty that's, uh, you know, hybrid sniper rifle and uh, SMG that's, uh, I'm sorry, hybrid assault rifle and SMG that turns into a sniper rifle, yeah, I would spend money on that gun for good gameplay. Um, but so as, as far as his weapon design, uh, it, it connects well. And it, let me just show you real quick how it connects. It's right there. You have that little, little, little divot right here, right there. And then it goes with the top of the barrel, that little point there and then you just connect them and they go right in together you know you, you really can't mess that up um but uh you know one thing i i don't like so much about this uh this weapon is the striated lines here you know it, it kind of gives it this hollow look and you know it kind of looks like they wanted the safe plastic you know and, and i've seen this in other parts like for example uh here's twin inferno Oops, excuse me, got a lot of junk on his desk. But here's Twin Inferno. If you look at his arms, you know, they, they want to say plastic, and, and they they gave these little striations here where it's hollow on the inside. And, you know, this, I'm sure some of you have an example of this in your collection. But, yeah, this is just one. And, and Twin Inferno, you've made your cameo here. Um, there you go. Get you out of here. But, yeah, I mean, um, for this weapon, I, I think it would be more appropriate... Um, to have these striations more in the barrel, it's more appropriate, but not so much from the back to the middle. I mean, I would have loved to have seen this smoothed out, you know. Um, but 
this is his weapon, and it is long. And, and one thing, um, you know, it, it does look like a deadly sniper rifle, whether it's pretty or not. And um, what I do like about this is the, the spacing between the pegs. You know, um, that enables him, you know, combined with his, his articulation and flexibility, he's able to actually take this and hold it. And it's good for posing. I mean, it's... It's hard. I mean, maybe you could tell me another uh, another figure that can do this in the comments. But you know, if you give a figure a long gun, you make sure both of his hands can hold the gun. You know, he can hold it like realistically. So to transform him first, I'm going to remove his weapons, put him to the side. Then I'm going to break him in half, and I'm going to work on the legs first. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is um, you take out his legs, you rip off the side, the shell on his uh, shins. And then you connect the feet, and you take the feet and you bend them downwards, um, you bend his toes downwards, and make sure the connection's there. Um, then the top of his torso, you're going to fold it over, and you have to make sure those pegs connect with uh, the top of the torso. So you're going to bend it and make sure it gets in there nice and, and uh, firm, firmly, um, right there. Those are the pegs, so you, they push right in there. And when you're done, you just uh, close the shell, and uh, they have those little pegs that connect in there, and that's it. There's this tank, and it rolls. You can connect the weapons. Uh, you can put on the weapons. You can uh, put two, and sometimes I can save a gun for his jet mode. Um, but his uh, jet mode is next. So um, for his jet mode, first things first, I'm going to fold in the fists. And then I'm going to take out, uh, well, move up his... Uh, the nose of his uh, airplane, and that'll fit nicely. So his rib cage is a very tight fit. It's very everything fits well and together. So uh, I undo the rib cage and I um, peg that into it, the bottom of his wings. And uh, you're gonna want to take uh, that bottom part of the torso with a connector um, to the bottom part and just fold it back. It snaps in also, and everything does snap in. And uh, then you can fold the arms in. And what I'm doing now is I'm twisting. Uh, the gauntlets just to so they connect. There's some little pegs in there that that show they connect to each other, and it's with those brass knuckles uh, or those little guns on his uh, gauntlets facing downward. So once you have those connected, there you go. His jet mode is uh, complete. You also have ports in both vehicle modes to insert weaponizers or weapons. Uh. Alternate modes look great, um, like the robot mode. They have nice paint jobs. Um, his uh, his tank mode has a uh, this dark brown. Um, with uh, maroon guns and silver right there. Uh, his uh, tank treads also have that siege battle damage. You know, it's a solid tank. There is a little hollowness in the back, but still, it's a solid tank. That rolls pretty well. Um, this, uh, his jet half uh, also is nice. It has, uh, it's maroon with silver lining with a brown bottom. It's also good. Um, my only, my only problem with his alternate modes is that they're so earth-like. It's it's not it's not so much the tank. Uh, I mean, this tank can pass off a Cybertronian, although he could use uh, some hover treads. But um, it's more the jet fighter's fault. Um, this looks like an Earth-like aircraft, and I think this is why you don't see him transform in a Netflix series. It kind of puts a hole in the plot, you know. It's 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 more appropriate if he's in the Earthrise. I think um, now. This is where I want to talk about uh, Titan's Return Sky Tread. Uh, where's his head? Here's his head right here. Um, yeah, I'd like to talk to him, uh, talk about him for a second because uh, the alternate modes in this little figure are are more Cybertronian. Yeah, there he is. He can ride it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I mean, starting with the tank, um, he, this is a four barrel tank. Let me put it back together. Yeah, he's pretty much a four barrel tank now. Now. On Earth, four-barrel tanks or multi-barrel tanks do exist, but they are uncommon. And uh, this one can pass off uh, as... Uh, it's so uncommon, it could pass off as a tank from out of this world. You know, so, I mean, this isn't so bad. You know, it still looks pretty cool. And, um, and you know, those those tanks that are multi-barrel kind of look like uh, like World War II engineering. And th this is far from it. Uh, so, yeah, this this four-barrel tank is... is uh, is Cybertronian looking too, um, but when you turn in into his uh, aircraft mode, um, now that is also I think that is more Cybertronian or out of this world than let me put his head here 
than this, there it is, than this aircraft. I would have loved to have seen um, Titans Returns Sky Trade aircraft mode on the Siege aircraft mode. It would have been more appropriate for the Netflix movie. While I have him here, let's look at the differences between, between head sculpts. Uh, here is Titans Returns head sculpt on Twinferno. And without a doubt, the Siege uh, is an improvement from this head sculpt. Um, the darker brown makes him look more serious. There's less bulk in the Siege head, and it's less boxy than this one. And, you know, um, most Titans Returned head masters were boxy because of the legs um, and the bottom torso having to fold um, fold in half. So, it, yeah, they, they have these big heads. Um, but again, the shades here are cooler also, and, and Siege does win in the head category. So this has been my review of Siege Skytread featuring Titans Return Skytread. Uh, I would have loved his alternate modes to be more Cybertronian. Um, so he could, be be he could better blend in with the Netflix series. Um, but thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, click like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of future content from this channel. Uh, thanks again. This is Optimus Frank. Until next time, uh, tell all are one.